a strange looking Croke Park after Westlife and before the Chili Peppers paid host to a photo call for the Leinster football semi-finals which will regain centre stage from the concerts on Sunday. Kildare Meath and Wexford against the champions. Eamon Fennell, is this your scene here? Westlife on Saturday night still cleaning up after it? Uh, I wouldn't think so too much now. Like, you know, I'd rather come to the Chili Peppers tomorrow night, but like, I know one or two of the Westlife boys and I know Nicky's a massive Dubs fan, so we go with a few of the lads when they to support them, so hopefully they'll be in to support us now. Well, it'll be your stage on Sunday, of course. It'll be a little bit different. It won't be as white as this, uh, but, you know, big game for you. Massive game. We look forward to getting back. Like, you know, we had a four-week break since the last game, so when you have that kind of break, you're eager to get back and four weeks can probably be a bit too much like there's a bit of ring rustiness there so we are we're very eager to get back and looking forward to it now Andreas Doyle is this a strange week for you living and working in Dublin and playing Dublin on Sunday in Croke Park uh, not really I mean it was the same for me last year I was living in Dublin play club football in Dublin um, so I'm, I'm, I'm always around Dubs um, I find that the, the real crack goes on the week after the game they don't say a whole lot to you coming up to the game a few digs here and there but after, if they beat you they'll uh, They'll be on your back straight away, but I'm hoping next week now that I'll have the upper hand and I'll be the one throwing the, the digs. A lot of people will be saying Dublin should win that, but going on the last two years, there's only been three, four points between you. Exactly, and even the last game, like we probably robbed the game off them, with the exception of that, that ball that was played into the box there. Like you know, They could have won the game easily. So like if you look at the New Zealand and Ireland rugby game, if, you have, if you're a fraction off, these good teams can destroy it. So we have to be like tuned in, ready to go and we're not taking this game for granted at all. Like We know we're in for a tough challenge and the games have been close in recent years, so we're expecting another hard-fought game. Yeah, two years ago we brought them to extra time. We, we had a seven-point lead, I think, at half-time, and we let them back in. And It was probably a little bit of experience last year. We, we were closer again, and you know, only for, I suppose, the goal was a, was a massive turning point in the game. Um, I won't say that lost us the game, but it brought us on another little bit so we're hoping this year third time lucky you know we'll, we'll be close again and, and hopefully we can push over the line as a totally failed player i've always like asking players what it's like playing out there in the big day but especially against the dubs in crow park what's it like it's, it's it's very different to anything else you'll, you'll experience playing in, in any of the other grounds i mean i can remember at one stage in the the game two years ago when you know we were seven points up and there was there was dublin fans walking out of the out the, out the turnstiles like they were leaving by half time and but once Dublin started turning it around and I remember it was a wet day and once they got back kind of within two three points it was like I mean the, the whole atmosphere in the stadium just completely changed and the, you know the, the noise was deafening we had silenced them and then once they came back then you could you know there was such a a difference between between the two the two the two fans nearly that um, you know it's, it's something unique when when you play against Dublin in front of the hill the second part of the double header sees Kildare knocking on the door once more, up against Meath and still trying to land a first Leinster title in 12 years. Last year I thought was was my last chance, but um, you know, obviously you're chasing the dream and you sit down at the start of the year and you talk to your family and once they're willing to support you, you know, you kind of you, jump a bit to go back, you know, so you just couldn't resist. <laughs> but it's unfinished business as well, you want that cup. Yeah, well, like, you know, I, any team that's putting in the time and hours that we put in, and like obviously, my own behalf, the sacrifices that your family are making for you, you know, you have to win silver to justify that kind of sacrifice, you know. So, uh, it's like I'm saying, all the teams are chasing that one dream, you know. Like we, we all like the last couple of years, we felt, you know, we've great belief, you know, and Kieran has brought that with the team he has around us, you know, and the way you train, like you know, um, it's one thing he always says, you know, the, the training creates belief, you know, and you, when you we train hard and. He makes us train hard, <laughs> you know. You create that belief and a, a bond around the team. So, like, we know we we, we believe we're good enough, you know. But uh, we know this match on Sunday is going to be a real helter skelter, you know. Uh, we seven meet have played so many times over the last couple of years, and there's been a kick of the ball in it, you know. And like even the league game, the last game we played, it was and they had a shot to win it and came off the post, and we end up getting a point from it, you know. So that's how little is between the two teams. Oh, definitely the extra game has done us lows. Like you know, uh, we didn't perform well in the first. Played well against Wicklow in the first game. Didn't play well against Carlo. I think if we'd have come out of there with a win, we wouldn't have been ready to play Kildare. So, you know, a couple of lads have come into form since the replay. So, you know, we'll be going for Kildare on Sunday. Do you think you are ready for a team like Kildare? Ah, well, they're going to be raging hot favourites. Look, we've nothing to lose. We, we know we've good players, and if we can get it, if we can get things to tick on Sunday, we, we won't be too far away, hopefully. And what about the other game? Can I ask you about Dublin Wexford? Everyone's saying Dublin. 
Yeah, well, you certainly have to look at it after performance against Loudon, and you know they're all earned champions and probably going for a you know a two in a row. But look at Wexford, that kind of team. They were probably maybe unlucky. A couple of things didn't go their way last year, and uh, you know who knows if they'd have gone their way last year, they could have come out the other side of it. But still, you have to expect Dublin to win. What do you think about the other game, Kildare against Meath? Who do you tip to come through there? Look, I mean, it'll be the same as, as every game in Dublin. The bookies and everyone else is back in Dublin, and in, in the Kildare game, everyone is going to, is back in Kildare to, to win that game. And look on on form, you have to think that, that Kildare are the the favourites come out of that. They they had a, a big win against Offaly the first game, um, but saying that, you know, Mead have got a couple more games under under their belt. They've played three games now between the the Wicklow game and the Carlow replay. Um, so you know, they've they've played a lot, a lot more football than Kildare, and they might be a little bit fresher. But I suppose. Uh, I'd still expect Kildare to win the game. So a Wexford Kildare final? Yeah, well Wexford Wexford will be there anyway. I mean I'm, I'm just not sure who we're gonna play, but probably maybe Kildare, yeah. And just finally, do you think there'll be a better atmosphere here for your game than there was for Westlife? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's there'll be as much hairspray, but there'll definitely be a better atmosphere. <laughs> and maybe not as much crying. <laughs> probably not, no. <laughs>